Welcome back to the two-minute updates from the Bob Davis Podcasts. Yeah, breakfast of champions right here, man. Cold fried rice from Walk in the Park in St. Louis Park. This is what I do when I get ready for the show. I kind of, you know, sort of hang out here, work on my stuff, get ready for the show. I uh, wish I could do the show from here. I think it'd be fun to have Tom over some morning and we can just do the show from here. That'd be kind of fun. I'm sure he'd be thrilled about that. <laughs> So, uh, what are we going to talk about today? Dude, I am so tired of the shutdown. I'm sick and tired of the shutdown. It's T-minus what, two? I think it's two. T-minus two. We'll know by today, by tonight, whether or not there's going to be a government shutdown. We'll talk about it at Cocktails and Conversation at the VFW Hall in South St. Paul uh, Thursday night. I'm sure we'll have something to talk about along those lines then. But I am weary. I'm war weary talking about the government shutdown. So... We will discuss it this morning. I don't think it's going to be the main issue. They want to do year-round school. The teachers' unions want to do year-round school. We're going to talk about that. Um, what else, Tom? We're going to talk about the ongoing saga with the uh, government shutdown. No, we're not talking about that. I think we're going to be talking about... Uh, <laughs> Tom Petty doesn't like Michelle Bachman playing his music. Tom Petty does not like Michelle Bachman. What's the deal with that? I don't know. That's not very nice. We're going to talk about how the University of Minnesota is fighting back. They say that they are not overstaffed. They're so over. They're not. They are the General Motors of the state government. That's why we have to keep cutting the budget for education. Because you know what they did? They spent it on top management. So they are top management heavy. That's the U of M. Absurd. Yeah. Well, and then I see that on the list, we, it was something we wanted to talk about yesterday, but you're going to talk about some new diagnosis called the optimism deficit. The optimism deficit. <laughs> you're not pessimistic. You have an optimism deficit. Please. Hook a please. So, uh, yeah, we will uh, be talking about all that stuff here shortly at News Talk 100.3 at 6 a.m. Bob Davis and Tom Emmer, Davis and Emmer, 6 to 9 at News Talk 100.3. Join us. Won't you? <laughs> 